Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to open up the phone dialer application on Windows 11. So this is certainly a relic that has been passed down from many Windows iterations to today and is still available on Windows 11, even on the consumer version of Windows. So this probably goes back to Windows 95 or earlier. And it still works perfectly fine, assuming you have a modem that you're able to connect to your computer, which most of you guys probably don't. But I'm going to just show you guys how to open it. Just a fun little tutorial here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'll start by opening up the search menu. Type in dialer. You can see the very old looking icon here. You just go ahead and open that up to run the command. And there you go, guys. So if you don't have a telephone or modem connected to your computer, unfortunately, it won't allow you to actually dial out. But you can add different numbers to speed dial here as well. So you can add your name and number. So if you have different contacts, you can add them right here. So basically, the predecessor to most modern phones here, they kind of had all the highlights here. So very straightforward process here, guys. Kind of one of those strange oddities that they still include in Windows. But I thought, you know what, just make a brief tutorial about it. When I found out that it was still on Windows, I thought that was a cool feature. I know they had in very early versions of Windows. Most people probably never used this in those earlier um, Windows days. I don't know too many people that made phone calls using the phone dialer, especially with all of the different peer-to-peer -peer applications that are available for free nowadays on most computers, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it really renders something like this pretty much completely obsolete. But it's certainly a cool little feature to have in here. If you go underneath about dialer, you see you still got this old logo here. So definitely a nice little feature. You can connect using different profiles here. But again, unfortunately, unless you actually have your phone hooked up, you can't really change anything. But you can add your area code, a specific carrier code. Well, that's really going back. And if you have an outside line, you can also change from tone to pulse dialing here as well. So, you know, just kind of going through some of the features here. Speed dial again, you have up to eight numbers you can add to that list. And then you can also just close out of it by either selecting file and exit or just close out of the application. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do hope you enjoyed it. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.